Hi and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how to make some ice crystal scatter for your tabletop terrain. Want to see how this is done? Stay tuned, we're going to check it out. To get started, take some pizza box cardboard, cut it in some random shapes, and then put it onto some foam core. Then what you wanna do is with your utility knife is carefully cut out the pieces and then trim away any excess foam core from around the cardboard. Make sure you do this carefully and make sure you're cutting away from yourself. Once you have everything trimmed away, what you wanna do is bevel the edges of the foam core. And to do this, just put your knife at a 45 degree angle and move it around the upper corner edge of your foam and you'll end up with a beveled edge instead. Now that your foam core is beveled, take your hot glue gun and fill in the corrugation on the edges of each piece. You can even use the nozzle to help smooth things out and make sure you do it to all of them. For the icicles, I used a strand of icicle ornaments that you can find. I'll make sure there is a link for you to be able to purchase some as well. You are going to want to make sure that you trim these away from each other so that you have individual miniature icicles to work with. You will also want to get some of these aquarium crystals, which you can easily find in any pet supply store or section of a department style store. Make sure you get them in clear though, because it's going to look a lot better with this particular build. Now you wanna to start to decide how to set the crystals up against each other. Once you do, press the crystal firmly into the foam so it leaves an impression. Then fill the impression with some hot glue and then you're gonna place your crystals back on top of the impressions and this will make it a lot easier to assemble them. Do make sure you put some glue in between the crystals where they meet to add some extra reinforcement as well. As you can see here, I did a cluster of three. However, it is completely up to you how you want to group them. Once you have your groupings done, you're then going to move over to the icicles. And it's the same concept. You take some hot glue and then you're going to put your icicle into the hot glue. Make sure it holds and you can actually add more hot glue to the base of that icicle and add further icicles to it to create a cluster. This is something you can just do freeform. There's no method to the madness. I do find, however, that odd groupings tend to look a little bit better. So working in groupings of three, five, and so on. Another option is to place the icicles in the center where the cluster of stones meet together. So there are various ways you can go approach these icicles and where you put them into your scatter pieces. Again, just have fun and see what looks good to your eye. In the long run, it's going to boil down to what it is you want them to look like. If you prefer to have it more of the icicles, great, more of the crystals, great. But this just gives you an idea of different approaches you can take with putting these together. Another option with the crystals is to stack them two layers deep. So it's the same concept as before, but in this case, make it a wider circle so they don't all join together in the center. And once you have a nice ring of these crystals made, what you're then going to do is put hot glue around the edges of these crystals and place further crystals on top of that pile to create a second layer. And it gives us some visual interest and structure by doing this. You can also add icicles to this as well to finish off the piece. For the snow texture, I use these two ground textures from Vallejo Paints. Starting with the gray texture one, you're going to put this around where the foam core is on these scatter pieces, and do be sure to put this around the edges of each scatter piece as well to hide and mask everything. By the time you're done, it looks sort of like an ice cake. Allow it to dry overnight. To get started with the paint, you're going to use granite gray from Apple Barrel, and you're going to take a paintbrush, dip it into the paint, and then dab it into the texture of the scatter piece. It does not need to be full coverage. It's actually okay if some of the texture paint from Vallejo peeks through. This gives you more depth. Once that dries, move on to using a glossy white from Apple Barrel and dry brush that on to the same pieces. You do want to make sure everything is dry though before doing this step. This gives it that white tone that you want for snow as well as a little bit of gloss as a result. Also be sure to get around those edges and that'll give you your more completed look for a snow effect. 
Moving back to the white texture from Vallejo, you're going to dab this on top of the crystals in the recessed areas so it looks more like fallen snow has gathered on top of these crystal formations. You can even put some around the base as well. The important thing is that you let this dry completely before our very last step. Using white pearl from CraftSmart, what you're going to do is dry brush this onto the surface of where there is snow texture. So this means onto the base of each scatter piece as well as into the areas where you place that white acrylic texture paint. This gives it a very bright and glistening effect like ice and snow. And it's a step that I do recommend you do, although it isn't technically necessary. And here we have our final look for this project. This is one of those things where once it's on the table, it really does make a very cool impact. And it's also easy to put together. If you have any questions about how this is done, please feel free to comment down below, or you can email me at thecraftingmuse.email at gmail.com. If you've liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up while you're here, and you're always welcome to subscribe if you haven't yet. Have a great day, and I look forward to bringing you some more projects soon. Welcome to new channel champion, Mike M. Thank you so much for joining me in my Patreon community. All tiers of patrons do get special access to my Discord server, so if you would like to join me there, you can start for as little as $1 a month. Hi, and welcome back to the frog in my throat. This is gonna be a whole reel of trying to say ice crystal scatter. Because for some reason that was a tongue twister today. Hmm. I'm going to show you how to make some easy ice crystals. I say some crystals. Crystals. Some ice crystal scatter. 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 You're going to make some scatter. You want to know what scatter is? Me too. Because I don't know. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make some easy ice crystal. Ice crystal. Ice crystal scatter. Easy ice crystal. Crystal. I can't get the word crystal out. I'm gonna get scatter out after that. I'm gonna show you an easy way to make some ice crystals, ice crystals, chrysalis. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to make a chrysalis. How's that? Channel. In today's video, I'm showing you an easy way, easy wake, easy wake. It's an easy wake oven. <laughs> well, actually, that doesn't sound so good. Never mind, I didn't see that. <laughs> how many chucks could wood chuck, chuck, wood chuck, wood chuck, wood? That's not a problem. Ice crystal scatter? That's my issue. I'll talk pretty someday. Someday. Let's see if this actually worked.